This is one of the smallest whales on Earth. But it made me wonder, what's the biggest? This is a pygmy sperm whale. It's only 11 feet long, about the size of a kayak. It can even release a cloud of ink like a squid to escape predators. It's rare, shy, and barely ever seen. But that got me wondering, what's the biggest whale? Well, it's not the beluga whale. Belugas are small, around 15 feet, but they're super vocal. People call them the canaries of the sea. They can even move their heads like owls. The narwhal, bigger tusk, but not bigger body. That long spiral is actually a tooth up to 10 feet long. They inspired sea monster legends, but they only grow to about 16 feet. Still not the biggest. What about the southern bottlenose whale? It dives 8,000 feet down. That's deeper than most submarines. But size-wise, around 20 feet, still small. Let's go up a level. The minka whale, the smallest bullying whale. But at least it breaks 30 feet. It's fast and sleek, with white flipper bands, sometimes called the cheetah of the sea. Still not even close. The gray whale, a little better. It's about 40 to 50 feet long and migrates over 10,000 miles each year, one of the longest migrations on Earth. It feeds by vacuuming up food from the sea floor. The southern right whale, heavier, not longer. It does something cool called tail sailing, lifting its tail straight out of the water like a sail, but at 50 feet max, still not the biggest. Let's go deeper. The Cuvier's beaked whale. It doesn't win in size, only around 23 feet, but it holds the diving record, nearly 10,000 feet deep and underwater for four hours. That's insane. Now we're entering the big leagues, the humpback whale. These guys are performers. They breach, they slap their fins, and they hit thing. Their songs last up to 20 minutes and can echo across oceans. They're about 50 feet long, and some travel 16,000 miles every year. Big, but not big enough. How about the sperm whale? Now we're talking. It's the largest toothed whale and has the biggest brain of any animal on Earth. It hunts giant squid and dives thousands of feet to get them. Some sperm whales grow over 60 feet long, big, but not be the biggest. The SCI whale, sleek and fast, hitting up to 34 miles per hour. It's the third largest baleen whale, up to 60 feet long. Still not it. The fin whale. Now this one's a monster. It reaches up to 80 feet and is sometimes called the Pawson Greyhound of the sea. It's the Oz second largest whale on Earth. So if it's not the fin whale, then what is? Let's rewind. Some whales are the deepest divers. Some are the best singers. Some are the smartest, the oldest, the fastest, the most dangerous. Like the orca, the apex predator of the ocean, not even technically a whale. It's the largest dolphin species. Orcas hunt in packs, use strategy, and take down sharks, seals, even other whales. But it's only about 20 to 25 feet long. So none of these are the biggest. Then what is the biggest whale? It's this one, the blue whale the largest animal to ever live. Bigger than any dinosaur, bigger than any land mammal ever. Blue whales can reach over hots 100 feet long, about the length of a Boeing 737. They can weigh over 200 tons a house. Their poit tongue powers alone weighs more than an elephant. Their heart is the size of a small car and it beats just once every 10 seconds. Their arteries are so wide, a small child could crawl through them and every day, they eat tarries up to 8,000 pounds of krill. And despite their size, they're incredibly gentle, peaceful. Their low-frequency calls can travel across entire oceans. So, what's the biggest whale? Not the fastest, not the deadliest, not the deepest diving, but the year largest? The blue whale, the biggest creature to ever swim or walk the earth.